Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dodge, Dodge is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? If you left me to die, Whoa. To save your own skin. And now, you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sheriff Gray. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man. The you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. Take this. I'll be back. Let's go. Well, hello, darling. Good to see you, Mr. Lance. You too. Jessica, how lovely to see you. Why, it's been a, a long... long time. No, it hasn't. Not compared with all eternity. Oh, Jessica, I miss Philip every day. Awful what happened to him. Quite terrible, but you seem... 
My dear, you seem under the misapprehension that I had something to do with his demise. You, your wife, or your business partner, at least one of you did, and your brother-in-law. But he's dead. Well, he was a bad man. I'm glad he was killed. Sure. It cleans up your mess, doesn't it? You don't seem quite well, my dear. I'm not. I am destroyed with grief. Oh, of course. Yeah, life can be terrible, but... Well, there is a business matter that we need to discuss. Mm, oh, sure there is. Well, you see, he and I had an agreement. In the event one of us dying, the other took control of the business in exchange for a nominal sum. <laughs> You lie, sir. You signed. Last year. The document lies with Mr. Shaw there. He also has your money. Five hundred dollars. My husband's property was worth a hundred times that. You thief. You murderous thief. Madam Leclerc, I will ask you to watch your manners. Uh, I have good standing in this town. Oh, you do, do you? I am a man of impeccable morality. Oh, well... Then you have little to fear of death, you god-awful swine. You think I'm afraid of you, fool? God damn you! God damn you! No! God damn you, Teddy Brown! Hello, Mrs. Leclerc. Who killed my husband? Who killed my husband? Your husband? That little milk sot? <laughs> I guess I imagine he was your brother. No woman would ever marry his kind. <laughs> I did kill him. I did it. And he was begging for his life. <laughs> Pathetic, really. Who put you up to it? Who? Lady, that's none of your damn business. Then I guess we'll kill the lot of them. That's one down, three to go. Mr. Horley. Pay our friends for their service. Thank you. We shall be in touch. Oh, oh, oh. I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today, not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are. Mm. Which is why you're going to let us leave. Oh, you are dying right here, my friend. Hear me! You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam... Let's go. Gentlemen! Mr. Maston, <laughs> gracias for your service to this land. <laughs> <laughs> ¡Levanten esta pizza, mierda! ¡Levántenlo! ¡Marston! ¡Hey! 
Marston. <laughs> you have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience, because you're about to meet God. <laughs> My brother, they will kill you if you don't get your ropes off. Over here, I will free you. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, come on, let's find some cover. Dragon's here. Lamb! It's Danny Lee! Well, this stuff stinks. Well, this is their recipe. I'm not sure I want it. Lamb! You got one minute, Fike. We're out of here. Hold it right there. What the hell is this? You said it was all good. It was. Mr. Caton, I feel like you've been avoiding me. And you must be the Braithwaite. How sad. From prince to peasant. I got guns covering this whole area. Is that a threat? Let me go. I'll call him off. And, and, and you can have Danny Lee. What, Mr. Braithwaite? I can have him. How very kind of you. And I also have $100 right, right here. Well, never let it be said that I'm not a reasonable man. Go on, then. If you're going. Why are they letting him go? Really? You're all but finished anyway. I only catch the big fish. Put your goddamn hands up. All right, start moving. Goddamn you. Oh, here he is, the halfwit. It's not really his fault, fellas. His mother drank a lot. You goddamn son of a bitch. Thanks for all this. Didn't you ever wonder why I kept you alive, you born idiot? How's your aunt, by the way? I never got a chance to ask you at the boat. I hear she's looking well. You bastard! Okay, okay, I think this is all gotten a little out of hand now. Don't you? You know what they do to people that murder federal agents? I can make that go away. You kill me! You'll be running for the rest of your life. Come on. That present head is just useless. Lindas and patrioticas. Dale, que ustedes son putas y lo saben. Por favor, no me hablas. Oh, mi amor, nadie te está obligando a hacer nada. Solamente quiero que animes al hombre que va a salvar a tu padre. ¿Tú quieres a tu padre, cierto que sí, linda? What's going on here, Captain DeSanta? Just a little recruitment. Nothing for you to be concerned about. You boys using women soldiers now? Our customs are none of your concern. Apparently not. The Santo Mariconcito! Me encontraste algunas chicas! Ay, mamacita! Donde has estado toda mi vida? Ven, ven, mujeres! Ha ha! Ay, me gusta! The stupendous were keen to make your acquaintance, the ah, coronel. Fantastic! I love patriots! Ha ha! Ah! Hey, Sir Marston! You here to fight the war? And we shall make a picture of you yet. I hope so. <laughs> Any word of those men? Oh, yes. I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santo, uh, hable con él. Tell him what I wanted. Huh? <laughs> His Excellency, El Coronel, would like to employ you in escorting a train down rebel country. The job is dangerous. But you'll have the honor of... Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Another patriot? Of knowing that you said Mexico in her fight against forces that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos. And information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuella. <laughs> okay, then. Mexico loves you, Mr. Martin. She has a funny way of showing it. Bill Williamson! 
Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor John. What are you doing to my pots and pans? <laughs> now don't handpick the boy. Next trip into town, I'll buy you a whole bunch of new pots and pans. Red, up the hill and quick, boy. We're getting raided. I'm coming, Pa. Oh. Pa, Pa, get up, Pa. Pa, Pa, get up, Pa, Pa. Pa! Kid, I reckon your pa's better off dead. Him being such a yellow belly and all. <laughs> <laughs> This will teach those gringos to cross the Rio Grande. No uniform. He must be a spy. Bring him to me. Take him to the river and shoot him like a dog. No, no, no! I'm not a spy! I'm a businessman! Please! I was just trying to get across the river! Please! I have gold! Lots of gold! Haha! <laughs> you lied to save your pathetic no, life! No! It's true! It's true! I have gold! Bring him to me! It's lots of gold. More gold than you've ever seen. A gold mine. And it's just over the border in the territory. If you spare my life, I can give you half. Huh. Why shouldn't I take all of it? Because you don't know where it is. You better speak fast. We need some privacy. Now tell me more about this gold mine. Truth be told, there is one little problem. I only own half the claim. My partner Nate owns the other half. And what if I kill your partner? Then that would make us... partners. Partner. <laughs> ah! No! 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 Uh, uh, you want me to kill uh, you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? Well, have, we have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. 
Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about down? I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go! Arthur, come on! What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore, <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Think we got a problem out here? Come out! It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? 
Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on! There's your deal, Dutch. Who's that? Sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No. Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. 
Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. At least tell like a man. <laughs> Hellfire. It's just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Thank you. I, I, uh, oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you... Kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology. Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> Well, Red, you're good. I'll give you that. But of course, you'd have to be to live through what you did. Still, I'm afraid that we're gonna have to end right here and now, what we should have ended so many years ago. Isn't she a beaut? Yeah! Can I hold it? She's one of a pair, only two in the whole world. Where's the other one? The other one. The other one. The other one. Mr. Kelly. Please join me at the mansion when you've finally taken care of business. <laughs> I always regretted what happened back on your daddy's farm, Red. I should have been there. To make sure you joined them. But lucky for me, I get a second chance.
Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. But I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man.